Paul, it's another point on the board, although you led for a while. What are the emotions after that? Well, obviously, when you concede late on, it feels like two points dropped. And Nell's had a chance right at the end. We hit the crossbar and the keeper makes a save. So it does feel like it's two points dropped. Um, and I'm not saying our performance deserved all three. I didn't think we were outstanding. But it's my fault, 100% first half. We got the shape wrong. Obviously, cash was missing. So I had to work out how we would look defensively sound and obviously we played that shape last week which was good away from home but at home we didn't just have enough impetus out wide on either side really I don't think Sibs put any crosses in Wardy I don't think put any crosses in so uh, we, it sort of stunted the lads a bit so I you know I've apologized to him in the dressing room that's my fault um, so we changed the system after 35 minutes looked a bit more like us I thought we started the second half a lot more like us um, we we're always a lot more dynamic going that way as well but um, so I just thought we were a lot better second half, but we scored the goal and then um, we just needed the second goal. I mentioned it to my coaches after about 65 minutes, look, we need another goal here because they're going to get a chance at something and that's how random League One is at times. But to concede off a throw-in is hugely disappointing. We obviously were forced into certain changes. Ryan sort of felt the outside of his knee. He was a bit sore. So, you know, it's not ideal changing your right back with 10 minutes to go and... Uh, Ebbs had like cramp, so again, can't really risk that. So they were sort of forced, really. But apart from the chance, I didn't really feel like they created a great deal, although, you know, they're going to put balls in the box. But we defended the set pieces really well, which was pleasing. Uh, but then, to, like I said, to concede was um, was a um, difficult pill to swallow. I just felt that second half we were better, uh, but not as good good as I would like and we didn't play I just felt like after we went 1-0 up we had about 20 minutes where it felt like and looked like to me that we played with a bit of fear uh, which I don't enjoy to watch so after they scored it was like all of a sudden we were fearless again and created things I know the game changes but I just didn't I've said it a few times this season I just didn't think we played with enough personality second half. A mindset thing then you want to be a little bit more positive when you go in front? Yeah, really, and, and keep getting on the ball. And obviously, uh, I thought our out-of-possession stuff was pretty good because I don't think they really had a shot from inside the box. So that was good. I just felt that when we had the ball, we had to show a bit more personality. There were pockets of it, obviously, and I'm not saying that you have any right to dominate oppositions because you don't. And if you look at all the results around the league today, there's you know points being dropped everywhere. But weirdly, that's why it feels harder to take because if you do win today, it looks even greater, doesn't it? So... Uh, um, that's the disappointing part, but you know another game pretty quickly. I don't know if Exeter beat Wigan in the end. I thought they were winning, so that they'll be tough opposition midweek, and our standards will have to be um, higher to win away from home. So overall, obviously, uh, it's, it's a disappointment. However, it is a point closer to where we want to be, but I think we need to win 10 games, and that was a good opportunity that we've let slip today. Uh, respect to Shrewsbury. Um, they kept going and got the goal they wanted. A set piece goal for you was that drawn up by Hammy on the training ground? Yeah, the lads have been good at set pieces. Uh, in fairness, in training this week, we'd done them against the youth team yesterday. So, um, thank uh, Bucko and that for um, letting us use them. Uh, so, we just looked a bit more dynamic. I know we'd done a short one, which didn't go down so great. But generally speaking, they look we look good off corners and free kicks today. I did. But we just didn't create enough in open play, really. I don't, you know, I can't come away and say, "Well, we had ten attempts on goal and they had one." It didn't feel like that, and that was probably the uh, the disappointing part of our play. I just didn't think we were, you know, we didn't create enough chances to be handsomely in the lead, if that makes sense. I hope debut for Ibu Adams today, man of the match again. It sounds as though, <clears throat> excuse me, the home fans have taken to him very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I couldn't decide if they were booing him or or saying e boo. Like, uh, you know, it's difficult to know sometimes. Uh, so yeah, uh, and obviously he's disappointed that he comes off. But um, you cramp up. There's a good chance the next thing you're going to do is tweak your muscles. So that's disappointing. And he he adds a bit of uh, steel in our midfield, which um, you know we need. And uh, yeah, really pleased for him. I think he's doing really well and he's a good addition. Uh, but I mean, he's heartbroken that we're throwing points away, which is a good sign. He's very expressive on the pitch when he when he does something that he's not happy with. You see it straight away from his reaction. Have you seen that? Uh, no, not really. I, I, what I did see last week was when we had a little uh, tete-a-tete with the defender and he decided to uh, tell him he wasn't best pleased on the halfway line. I love that. Um, so, you know, you shouldn't be a shrinking violet on a football pitch. It's, sometimes there's a bit of calm, sometimes there's a bit of war. 
um, even more so in this league. So I like the way he stands in his corner, and um, you know, and he done his role to down attacking set pieces. He done really well on with his blocks and that. So that's pleasing. So yeah, really, you know, there's really good things, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it's always about the three points. And today we didn't get it. And just a bit of housekeeping to finish. Yeah. You mentioned Darren Cashin, not involved today. Josh Vickers not involved either. How are they? Uh, Josh Vickers uh, has got a uh, problem with his quad. He'll be out for a period of time, I think. Uh, Cash um, was sore at the game at Charlton. Right at the end, he, f- he felt his hammy tighten up. He was sore Sunday, Monday, uh, but then he's uh, been fine since then. It was... If it would have been the playoff final or the last game of the season, the win to go up or something, you know, it would have been a risk possibly worth taking. Uh, but as it is, you know, you, if I played him today and he was out for eight weeks, I'd look like a lunatic. So um, take advice off the medical team and they just wanted to leave it for this game. So he should be fine for Exeter.